give it a bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make scotcheroos. For those of you who don't know, scotcheroos is a treat made by Kellogg's Company back in the mid-1960s. And they're really popular, really yummy. If you like peanut butter fudge or just peanut butter in general and chocolate and butterscotch and Rice Krispies, then you will love this recipe. Super easy to do, only six ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find the list of the ingredients and their amounts, but it's really super easy to remember. Pretty much one cup of everything except for the Rice Krispies and six cups of the Rice Krispies. So we will start with one cup of white granulated sugar and put it in a medium pot. And now we wanna add in the light corn syrup or corn syrup. And this is one cup as well. All right, now let's take this over to the stove top. Here we are over at the stove top and I have the heat set to medium heat. And we want to heat up this syrup and the sugar until it boils. And what that's gonna do is it's going to melt this granulated sugar. And it's gonna help the candy or, cho or the dessert, candy, I guess we can call it candy, set up. So we're just going to stir while it heats up. All right, so you keep stirring and heating it up until it comes to a full boil like this. A lot of little bubbles. And just give it about 20 more seconds. And now let's remove it from the heat. And then immediately you're going to add in our cup of peanut butter to it and then we are going to just stir that in and the peanut butter will melt. Very similar to if we were going to make a peanut butter fudge. I have a video on peanut butter fudge if you want to check that out. So just keep stirring until that is all nice and smooth. Okay, about like that. See, nice and smooth. I have six cups of Rice Krispie cereal, and we want to pour this in there with the cereal. Get it all out of this pot. And then now we want to coat that cereal in this mixture. This is similar to if we were making Rice Krispie Treats. I have a video for Rice Krispie Treats here on my channel as well. And you need to work fairly quickly because that sugar mixture and peanut butter mixture cools down pretty quickly and it already starts to set. So just get it coated as best as you can. And then we'll come over to a 16 by nine pan and I have it lined with a piece of parchment paper or you can use just spray it with cooking spray so yeah you got to work pretty quickly because it set, starts to set up really fast and then just come in here and we're going to just push this down and spread it out until it's nice and even. All right, and now we can just let this stay put while we melt the chocolate. Normally I would just melt the chocolate in the microwave on bursts of 30 seconds and then stirring in between. But I also wanna show you the double boiler method. So I have a pot and I have about a half inch to an inch of water in there. And then I have a bowl, this is a Pyrex bowl. A metal bowl works, works really well for this. And it needs to be larger than the pot, so it rests right on there. 
And then what's gonna happen is it, when that water heats up, I have the heat set to medium heat. The steam is going to hit the bottom of the bowl, warming the bowl and melting the chocolate. One cup of butterscotch chips. That's where the term scotcheroos comes from. And one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then we'll just come in here and stir periodically while this chocolate melts. See, it's starting to melt already. And sometimes you wanna have like a hot mitt or something that you can stabilize the bowl as you're stirring. And then it'll start to melt even more. It's a lot faster to do this in the microwave, but I realize not everyone has a microwave probably, or they just don't want to use the microwave. All right, this is looking really good. And now we want to remove it from the heat and we'll just pour it evenly across this. So then we will just spread that chocolate out to a nice even layer on top. Once you spread out the chocolate, just let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes to cool down completely. And then you can put it in the fridge and let it chill for 30 minutes to an hour until it sets completely. And then we can cut into it. All right, once it has chilled and the top has set, we can just lift up on this parchment paper. That's why I really like using parchment paper as opposed to just putting it in the pan. And then you can just put it right down on a cutting board. And then we just want to cut this up into squares. Just cut it however you want. And you will wind up getting about 30 to 36 servings, depending on how big you make them. And then I'm gonna just pick one up and show you what it looks like inside. See that? Pretty cool. Give it a bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. The scotcheroos are done and turned out fantastic. Only six ingredients. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. And then to store them, I just put them in like a thing of Tupperware or different airtight container. And I store them in the fridge. And then when you wanna eat them, just take them out and let them sit at room temperature for about 15 minutes or so, and then bite into them. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. Grab this one right here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm.